and so happy to have you join us today for another edition of the program Daily Charge with the Mountain Top Daily Devotional. Today is another day the Lord has made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Monday, 15th day of July 2024. I was so happy and excited to have you join us on yet another edition of this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your uh, love and your com compassion upon our lives. And all the viewers of this program, Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for such a day you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for another time to share your word together. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today on this program, I pray you open eyes of understanding. Let your word bless our lives. Teach our spirit by your power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you again in Jesus' name. And I trust you to also ask your friends to join us on this um, daily on this program, Daily Charge with the Mountain Top Daily Devotional. As usual, um, let's have our devotional and our materials with us as we go on this way together um, in the Word of God today. So please let's grab a copy of our mountain top uh, daily devotional very useful material very resourceful as well and also our bible and writing materials i believe the lord will teach us today uh, today is monday 15th day of the month of july in the fall so today on our program we're looking at love not the world part one love not the world part one and our memory verse is taken from the book of james chapter 4 james chapter 4 verse 4 and i i read from here and i trust you would follow through as i read from here ye adulterers and adulteresses know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with god whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. If you be a friend of the world, you are the enemy of God. And our prophetic work today is that I pray for all of us, me myself, that on this program today, that the Lord shall give us the power to live a righteous life above the world and the vanities in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I get a big amen to that? God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, our first scripture for today uh, is our anchor text, our working scripture. is 1 John chapter 2, the very popular scripture. And I'm believing that the Lord will open our eyes and understand it as we explore another dimension of the Word of God um, on this program this today. So let's open our Bibles to the book of 1 John, uh, 1 John chapter 2. We'll be reading three verses, 15 to 17. First John 2, uh, I believe you're all there. And I'm reading from the New Living Bible. First John 2, 15 to 17. Again, I'm reading from the New Living Bible. He said, stop loving this evil world. Stop loving this evil world and all that it offers you for when you love these things you show that you do not really love god i like the way the bible put it stop loving this evil world and all that it offers you uh, um, for when you love these things in the world you do not really love god 16 for all this worldly things these evil desires the craze for sex the ambition to buy everything that appeals to you um, i mean the king james we say the lust of the flesh the ambition to buy everything that appeals to you that's the lust of the eyes and the pride that comes from wealth and importance the pride of life these are not from God. These are from this evil world itself. 
the last verse. And this world, this same evil world, is fading away. And these evil forbidding things will go with it. But whoever keeps doing the will of God will live forever. So straight away, you can, disco- you can discover from our working text, it said this evil world is passing away. The verdict has already been given on this world where we all live. So let's even start from there. So the verdict is clear that the, this world is doomed for destruction. It is doomed already. So it means that everything that is in this evil world has already been sentenced for destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. So the fact that we can take away from this working scripture, and I'm praying that Lord will help us today. One is that this world is passing away. And one day will be gone. So passing means that it's already in motion. That's why it's present continuous. It's passing away. It's already in motion of you know, going. One day it shall be gone. And everything that is inside it will be gone with it. Whether it's mansion, whether it's the, the, the beautiful cars, whatever you can call it, whatever you can see today, they are all going to be gone one day. Praise them of the Lord. And that's why even when a man dies, he takes nothing with him. And that's why I love that scripture that says that, you know, that um, we, we brought nothing and it is certain. He said, Godliness with contentment is a great gain. Book of 1 Timothy chapter 6. For we brought nothing and it is certain that we shall take nothing out of this world. Praise the name of the Lord. The second is that all that in this world had been summarized as vanities. Praise, even from our, our, our working text as well, even from what we read in our memory verse, all that in this world has been summarized, they're all vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. So all that men want to kill themselves for, all that people are chasing up and down, they want to, people want to die for, it's been summarized as all vanity. Like I said before, and that's why if somebody dies today, nothing is going to go with it. All the wealth that he has, all the luxurious cars, all the mansions will not go with him or with her. And all is what? Vanity. And it's so painful that it's so bad that even those that did not work for it, that will now come and inherit those things that the person has labored for all his life. And that's why we need to start asking ourselves a question. What is the thing that matter? What will it last that we should focus on? And that's why we're saying love the Father. That is the greatest thing that will last, that will outlast this world, that we need to focus on regularly. Again, all the things in this world are raw materials of fire. Everything you can see in this world, they are raw materials. So second, second Peter 3 verse 10 says that. Everything, they are raw materials for fire. So why will, be, why will you be chasing vanities and not chasing God? Vanities that are, the Bible has declared they are raw materials for fire. That's a fact in the Bible. Again, the whole world lies in wickedness. First John 5 19, the whole world lies in wickedness. And that's where, if you turn to the left, the right, is violence and wickedness in this world. So is that where we should, is that where our love should lie? No, of course no. So I'm just going to describe to us, of course we're all living the world, but I'm trying to describe to us what the Bible says about this world that we live in. Praise the name of the Lord. We're taking a short break and we shall be right back. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God. 
that are stirred by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life Changing Encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to your program. The daily charge with Martin Top the devotional. God bless you in Jesus' name. So happy to have you join us. And if you're just joining the program as well, please we appreciate that you could uh, share with your friends and your colleagues to always be part of this very, very insightful, spiritually educative program on a daily basis. God bless you in Jesus' name. So before we went on the break, we we're discussing love not the world. It's a commandment. Love not the world. Love not the world and instruction as well love not the world and i was trying to describe to us why let's start with what how the bible describes the world that we live in the position of the scripture as far as this world is concerned which is very clear and why we shouldn't be chasing those things but rather you be chasing after god well that is what lasts i talk about the, what is in the world where well, loss of the flesh um, loss of the eyes and the pride of life and the fact is that the world is passing away and one day it shall be gone we mentioned the fact that the world is doomed already the verdict has been passed upon this world so destruction is awaiting this world where we all live in whether you like it or not that is the bible standard that's what the bible has said again all that is in this world they are raw materials of fire 2 Peter 3 verse 10. They are raw materials of fire. Everything you can see that is attracting people, they are material of fire. Again, we must that the whole world lies in wickedness. 1 John 5, 5 verse 19. Wickedness is, in the, in the, is as full everywhere. And that's not what we should be chasing after. Praise them of the Lord. Again, the devil is the prince of this world. So if you love the world, you're automatically loving the devil. Praise them of the Lord. The devil is the prince of the world. So if your love is for this world where we live in, it means that your love is towards the devil and not for the father. Again, however, our position, if you are, this, if you are with us today as a believer, is that we are the, meant to be the light of the world. Of course, we are living in the world. But while we are living in the world, we are meant to be light to the world. Of course, the world is full of destruction full of vanities like i said before but what god expects of us is that we are meant to be the light and our light must shine meaning that anywhere you find yourself you must demonstrate that you are indeed a child of light in your behavior in your attitude in what you say in what you do people must know that indeed you are you are you are, you are for light not for darkness and that is our position Praise the name of the Lord. Matthew 5 verse 14 talks about that. Now, you can ask me that. How to hide love the Father whilst living in this world? How can I maintain, like the Bible says, love. Remember, we're looking at love, not the world. That we're living in the world. Of course, we know we're living in the world. How can I live in this evil, wicked um, you know, polluted and corrupt world that we we've found ourselves, and yet I will love the Father. What can I do? And that's what part of what I want to want to take take away from today's um, program on our daily chat today, because it's very important. Because that's what we we'll be asking ourselves: that how can I stand? How can I be chasing God? How can I be a God chaser? Because I'm in this wicked polluted, corrupt, 
perverse world. How can I stay above all these things and have the love of the Father in us? Now, I will, so the question is, how not to love the world? Praise the Lord. How not to love the world? The first thing to do is to be filled with the love of the Father. To be filled with the love. So we can usually ask for the love of the Father to fill our hearts constantly. So that should be a constant prayer point for all of us watching this program today. That Father, let your love fill my heart always. Like the psalmist said, that he pants after God. He said, I want to drink God. So you want, you want your heart to be panting after him. So you need to be asking for the love of, of the Father to fill your heart. When the love of the Father fills your heart, then there is no vacuum. vacuum. There is no space for the love of the world to enter. And even when those things are attracting you, because you have a strong love, just imagine you love somebody dearly. It's difficult to break tie with that person. So when you love God dearly, that love will always help you not to have the love for the things of the world. That, that number two is to set our affections on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2. Let's set our affections on things above. So when, when we begin to focus on things, above means the kingdom. Because that's what's above us. So let our, our affection, that what the Bible has said, meaning that we should get our priorities right. So what are your priorities? Watching this program today, what are your priorities? We need to ask ourselves that question. What are those things? This year, for example, this is the second half of the year already. And the question is, what were those things you set as goals for this year? spiritual goals for example what are those goals have you set for yourself and how far have you gone on those goals particularly when it comes to things of God so we need to set our priorities right and we begin to chase those priorities and that will help us as well so set your affections on things above let you have a panting for the kingdom and the things of the kingdom Praise the Lord. The next thing is also pray for God's kingdom to be established in your soul. That is a great prayer point. Because if your soul, if, the, if God's kingdom is not established in your soul, that soul cannot be raptured. Praise the Lord. So it's a constant prayer that we need to be prayed that Lord, let your kingdom be established in my soul. Let your kingdom fill my heart. Let the kingdom of heaven be established established in my soul when god's kingdom is established in your soul then you be you, your love will be for the father praise the name of the lord can i a better hallelujah wherever you are watching us today praise the name of the lord hallelujah another thing we can do is to make our standing and position known to the world let them know what you stand for like you used to say a man that stands for nothing will fall for everything. So, let them know what you stand for. That place where you are working, that school where you, where you are studying, that family, that place of business, let them know that this is where you stand for. Let them know your own position. If, you have, if, they, have not yet, if they have not yet called you names, you have not started. So, let them know your position. That, oh, for this one, ah, this man does not drink. Even if you offer, you will not take it. So let them know that you stand for that. When it comes to say, oh, they, they, this is a community of liars, you say, no, minus that man, minus that woman. That is what will also help us to focus our minds on things of God. The next thing to do is to always pursue kingdom business. Always pursuing kingdom business. When, remember, we were looking at how not to love the world. How not to love the world. If you don't want to love the world, then you need to shift that love to another thing. And that's what I'm saying today. That where can you shift your love to? So that you don't love the things of the world. And that we're saying that, look, pursue kingdom business. 
Be aggressive about things of the kingdom. What is kingdom business? Soul winning, evangelism, praying, intercessory, and even kingdom service, even the house of God. Those are things that you should be pursuing. So when you pursue kingdom business, definitely the love of the Father will grow more in your soul. Praise the name of the Lord. We shall be right back. Please stay tuned. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. God bless you again. Welcome back to Daily Charge with Mountain Top Daily Devotional. And I trust you, God will be blessed thus far today. We're looking at love, not the world. Today is the part one. Part two will continue tomorrow. And we've discussed a few things thus far, trusting that the Lord will open us of understanding and will bless our lives. Now, as we wrap up today, I was discussing around how not to love the world. Like I said before we went on the break, if you don't want to love the world, where else should we shift your love to? How I know that we all live in this wicked world, how do I stand? How, do, how would I not love the world? That's what we're discussing. And I've said that the first thing that we should be filled with the love of, the, of God. Secondly, set your affections on things above. Let your affections be on things above which is about the kingdom. We talk about praying that the kingdom of God be established in your soul. Please, I want us to also make that prayer, a regular prayer point, because like I said, if God's kingdom is not established in your soul, that soul cannot be raptured. That soul cannot be raptured. We talk about, I said, make your standing known. Make your position known anywhere you are. That also helps as well. Let them know what you stand for. That also helps you as well to stand. Then I said you pursue kingdom business. Let that be your ultimate pursuit. So winning, evangelism, intercession, kingdom service, working the house of God, things that will promote God's kingdom. Let that be your focus and your pursuit, even while you're living in this world. So let that be like your agenda. The next is to be determined like Daniel. Not to be enticed by the things of the world. I know we are human, and many times our flesh can shift our eyes to somebody. We are determined that no, this is who I am, no matter what it is. Like Daniel, he said, Dare to be a Daniel. If we are determined like Daniel, that, like I always say, that determination is a, is a force that pushes a man towards his goal. It's an unseen force. You are determined that, look, no matter what, I will not be enticed with them. Then another thing so be to be content with what you have. Contentment, like I said earlier, is a great gain. The Bible says contentment is a great gain. We brought nothing and we shall take nothing from this world. Praise the name of the Lord. So please let us be content with what we have. If you are content with what you have, that whilst we are looking forward to more of God's blessing, that will also help us as well 
not to love the world. And lastly, to ask for grace. We need grace. It's, 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 we need sometimes, grace is that supernatural ability that comes upon the man. So we need something sometimes to, to resist this thing. We need grace. We need grace. And to add to this one, if you try what I've said, and yet you're still battling with loss of the flesh, loss of the eyes, then you may need to go for deliverance prayers. You may need to ideally deal with them in the place of prayer. Because a natural man, a natural man carries those things. See, if it gets to a point that you have tried all this one, it's still not working, you are still not getting the result, then you have to do it in the place of prayer to deal with the demon in charge of uh, lust in your life. And I trust the Lord, the God of deliverance, the God will surely deliver you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you for joining us on today's edition of this program. Let's pray this prayer before we round up today. Thank you, Father. Say, Lord Jesus, let the kingdom of God be established in my soul. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your kingdom be established in my soul. Let your kingdom be established in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name for joining us on today's edition of um, Daily of Daily Charge with Mountain Top with Devotion. I trust you enjoyed the program today and I trust the Lord has ministered to your spirit and I trust the Lord will surely bless you more and more. We look forward to you joining us again next time on this program. But till then, we love you and God loves you more. Bye-bye for now. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in, your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.